Hey guys, welcome back. Apologies for how long it's taken me to get to this video. I know I posted the last one about two months ago, but nevertheless, we're here. We're gonna start with the upgrade part of the series. So VCF 5X or 5.2 to 9. From there, we'll do another region and we'll go through a couple of the nuances. And as you've seen the way my videos operate, I won't, I'll keep it as raw as possible and we'll get straight to the point. If we hit any issues, we figure it out together. In this video, we're going to go through upgrading the ARIA lifecycle and operations to get it compatible and ready for VCF9. From there, we'll move on to the rest of the ARIA products and then we'll get VCF9 upgraded. Before that, what I should tell you is we're also going to cover brownfield imports, greenfield builds, and all the different ways that you can actually get VCF9 going in different environments. But this is how we're going to start this part of the series. So let's get right to it. As I said, we're gonna do ARIA products first, starting with Lifecycle Manager. That's where all my environments are created from. So to do that, I've uploaded a upgrade patch file, which is that 0218X patch two to a data store. And then I'm going to attach it to the VM. Let that happen. Looking for the file in the data store. Actually, you know what, never mind me. I've actually gone the wrong way around with this. I need to upload the patch file to the VM itself and then search for it through binaries. You'll see what I mean in a second. In order to do that, I've WinSCP'd it onto the host. You can see here from this one that renders, it's not at patch two just yet. Okay, so we'll click okay out of that, go into lifecycle operations. As I said, I've uploaded the patch file to the VM using WinSCP and I'm going to show you how to find it and upgrade from it using the UI. Add patch binary and point it to the path of where you've uploaded to. Here you can see I've uploaded to the root folder and then I'm, go well, I'm uploading it to the root folder, I should say. Sorry, I mean data folder, not the root folder. It's already there, cool. Then we go back to the UI and then I'm gonna go forward slash data and hit discover. You can see the patch file there, hit add. Cool, and then that should come through as a mapped binary once it comes through properly. You can see that process going through now. Doesn't take too long, there you go. 327 milliseconds, not too long at all. Cool, jump back in, go to patches, new patch, and we should see it in this list now. There it is. Hit next, install. Do your due diligence, take your snapshots and whatever. I've already done that in the background, but just make sure you do all that before you run the patch. And once this goes through, we should be at patch two and good to go into operations. You can see that it's going through the process now. It's not so quick to update. It has to go through, update all the services, all the databases and whatnot. Once this screen, once it finishes this screen, we'll go back to the login screen and you can log back in. While that's going, we're gonna download the Operations Upgrade Bundle. Same thing, Broadcom Support Portal, VCF or VCF9, VCF Operations, and then VCF Cloud Foundation Operations Upgrade File. Download that, let it go. Same thing, it needs to upload, get, get uploaded to the LCM appliance. Now at this point, LCM's already upgraded in my environment. I'll show you that in a second. But you can see the same process is gonna go through. I need to re-authenticate to the LCM because it's rebooted in the background. So that's why this is not really uploading at this point in time. Uh, let's jump back in, refresh, data. You can see that LCM files, uh, the patch file is gone, but now I'll re-upload or upload the operations upload, upgrade file and hit OK. This time it's moving, cool, all right. I'll log into uh, operations now just to, you know, make sure that it's not at a version nine compatible one or nine already. You can see here it says VMware ARIA operations, which in the new version is called VCF operations. Logging in, it looks very similar when you do upgrade as well, but just not to be confused that this is still a version 8.18 as you just saw when we're logging in. Hit close on that. Now we're back in LCM, it's back up and running. We'll go to settings and we'll map the binary as we did last time. You saw where we up, we've uploaded the upgrade bundle to forward slash data. This time we're gonna add it into the binary mapping again. Forward slash data here, hit discover. And you can see it, cool, hit add. Perfect, now we'll see how long this pipe takes to map. Let's 
done. Not long at all. Now we're going to the ARIA suite. I've got them all in a single environment. So you can see I've got different products and everything stacked in the one. So you can see networks, logs, operations, automation. Operations, to trigger an inventory sync and hit submit on that. This can take some time sometimes. As long as this will make sure that your environment's healthy, there's no issues and all the nodes can be contacted. You can see it's not in my ex example. SSH needs to be enabled on the nodes. So we'll go through and do that. Here's how we enable it. Simple command on each node or the node. Stuff that up, okay, let's try again. I'll get there eventually. There we go. Now we'll check to see if it's enabled or we'll just rerun the task. Oh, this is another way to check as well. There we go, cool. We can SSH on, that's a good sign. Now we should be able to go back and retry the task. Hopefully that comes clean, otherwise we'll face the next issue and resolve it together. Awesome, no more issues. It's successfully triggered the inventory sync and gone through about eight minutes as you saw there. Go back into the environment, go to operations, upgrade, proceed. Go through the motions here showing you your repository URL, which is my LCM, cool, and product version is version nine. No compatibility data found. Okay, hit next, I'm going to VCF, hit next. Run the assessment to see what's going on in the environment. Assessment's all good, let's move on. You can download the report here if you need to, but that's cool. Take the product snapshot, Hit next. Select the vCenter server it's going to. I've got two vCenters here, and you'll see why this could be an issue in your environment because there's some legacy stuff left in mind where I don't have that vCenter anymore. But anyways, select the network, select the resource pool, and select the, all this stuff that is relevant to your environment. In my, re in my region, I'm putting on a cross-region or what was in the cross-region segment or overlay segment in VCF and it's going back onto the same one here because I will have multiple regions. Select the data store that's relevant for you. Disk mode, I want to pick the right one for me, which is thin. VM name, this is what you'll see in vCenter. Now remember, we're, we're populating the details for the fleet here which is the new LCM, right? So read the warning at the, or the words at the top. I did not, so it took me a little bit backwards and forwards to figure it out. But this is for the fleet VM, which is the new LCM, which is why I was saying some of the remnants of what's in here going into fleet could cause me issues down the track, which it will, and I'll show you why. Domain search path. Then we select the DNS and NTP servers. You can actually hit edit and select the existing one. Sometimes that gets me, I don't know why. Same thing for DNS and NTP. Default gateway for the cross-region network. Mine is... Netmask. Run your pre-checks. If this comes good, you can hit that well, wasn't good straight away, almost. What do we need? Resource count. Okay, that's a warning. Fleet management node mapping. Okay, we need the 
binary for fleet man management and valid password complexity check for fleet management appliance. Cool, let's fix that. Jump back into bi uh, Broadcom support portal. BCF9. There should be a fleet management section where to get the fleet management download. Yep, there it is, fleet management. I'm usually blind for these things, but there it is. Download, same thing. We're gonna map it back in like we've done the other two binaries. Data. Cool. That is uploaded. Now we jump back into settings, binary mappings. There it is. No, hang on a sec. It's not going to let me retry from here. Rerun that pre-check from here. All right, we had to also fix the password complexity check. So I've reset a VMware one two three bang password that usually works. Hit next. All right, let that validation go. All right, all validations passed this time around, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna hit next and let that build out operations, or upgrade operations, I should say, and deploy fleet. Check all your details are good and hit submit. Okay, we should start seeing something here. Yep, cool, this can take a while. And we're almost done, there we go. Uh, what, an hour and 18 minutes is not bad? All right, cool. Have a look at the environments, get details. Operations is missing from there now, so it's been ripped out of Lifecycle Manager and put into Fleet. So if we log into Operations, we should be able to see that. You can see Ops is there and there's now a Fleet VM. If we, uh, where's it gone? That's not part of that resource pool. It's probably down below. Let's see, where did it go? Yeah, there it is, fleet. All right, um, if we log into ops, we should be able to see that it is now upgraded. That looks different, so it doesn't say RE operations anymore. It says VMware Cloud Foundations operations. Password should be the same from what it was before for your local account. We can see some fleet management stuff there. Now, as you do stuff, you move stuff from fleet to, uh, you can see the two SDDCs there. SDDC 2 is going to cause me some pain later. We'll show you why. And you can see there the version 9. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll continue the upgrade process, logs and whatnot, and then we'll go onto the platform. Let's move on.